Blue Over the Wall is a 2017 anime film produced by Science Saru, the same studio that made Devilman Crybaby in the Food Chain episode of Adventure Time. The story follows Kai, a middle school boy who loves making music, though unfortunately, music isn't a viable career in the small fishing village he lives in. His family wishes he would focus on a real job and stop having unrealistic dreams. Also, it's believed that music attracts human-eating people to the village. Despite everyone being against him, Kai joins a band with kids from his school, they perform a few songs, and accidentally summon an adorable mermaid. From there, the movie becomes like a cross between E.T. and Ponyo. E.T. in the sense that the main character needs to hide the alien creature from the world, and Ponyo in the sense that there's a lot of fairy tale elements and, well, fish, I guess. The main highlight of this movie is the animation. The style is insanely unique and there's tons of cool things they do with it. Like it has anime character designs and backgrounds, but everything sort of moves like it's a 50s cartoon. And there's a really bright and appealing color palette. The style swaps around a few times too for flashbacks and music scenes. And this was all done in Adobe Flash, the same software they used to make Johnny Test. That's nuts. It's really fun to look at and worth watching just for the animation. There's also a big focus on music in the movie, and all the songs are very sweet and fun. I just wish there were more of them, honestly. I watched with an English dub, and some of the songs were translated and some weren't, which was sort of weird. I would have preferred if they just didn't dub any of the songs, but they still sound great. Just the voice acting in general in the dub is great too. At first I wasn't big on Kai's voice, but I started to like it once he started having more personality. All the characters are a lot of fun, and I really love their designs and interactions, especially the two other band members. They were a lot of fun. And Lou as well. I like that she isn't designed to be like traditionally cute, but she still manages to be adorable. My main problem with the movie is its story. It's pretty basic, and even though it's basic, it sort of even gets confusing. There's a lot of jumps between different events, and they're all visually amazing, but they don't really have plot substance. There's also a long conference scene towards the middle of the movie that doesn't have much animation going on, it was pretty darn boring. Then there's this whole lore with a shadow stone and how there's a mermaid border around the town, and I just didn't follow it. I was pretty lost during the film's climax, though again, it's super beautiful to watch, just hard to follow. I appreciate the movie's moral about friendship and following your dreams, but it sort of presents that in a really basic way. Though altogether, the movie is mostly a blast to watch. I highly recommend it if you like anime, the ocean, adventure time, or are just looking for something new. Even if you don't enjoy the plot, the movie will still give you something to smile about. If you enjoyed this movie, I'd recommend The Night is Short Walk on Girl, another film by the same studio and director. I hope you check it out if you're interested. If you like this video of mine, please feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to know when I post a new video. Also consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks for watching.